Thank you so much, uh, Madam Chairwoman. Uh, Director Easterly, your team looked at some of the excess death data during the ransomware attack on the University of Vermont uh, Health Network. I was frankly quite surprised by the conclusion of that case study that ransomware attacks on hospitals are correlated significantly with loss of patient life. Now, briefly, how is it that these ransomware attacks have that kind of impact? Uh, Congresswoman, um, that study looked broadly at excess deaths during COVID, um, uh, during the COVID pandemic, uh, largely looking at what happens when hospitals are overwhelmed uh, it, with ICU patients suffering from COVID. What were the number of excess deaths from other, um, uh, from uh, other types of um, needed hospitalizations or ICU uh, admittances? So there were excess deaths from things like heart attacks and cancer, et cetera. Um, uh, we were highlighting uh, during the course of that study that ransomware incidents have the potential uh, to exacerbate the, the strain on hospitals and result in additional uh, excess deaths, and that is why it is incumbent upon uh, hospital administrators to make sure that they have the right level of cybersecurity in place, um, and they're aware of, of the potential for uh, significant, um, there are, there are they're prepared for uh, what might happen should their hospitals be overwhelmed by cyber or other disruptions. Um, and it is why we are working so hard to kind of highlight the, the results from that, that work, and additionally what we can do to offer additional assistance uh, to, to hospitals across the country uh, as we've been doing over the course of, of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you. And, uh, you know, as I understand it, the victims of ransomware attacks, including institutions like hospitals, are often reluctant to admit that they were targeted. And sometimes they just pay this ransom and try to uh, essentially not report it. But just to confer confirm, and again, very briefly, Director uh, Von Vondren, uh, paying ransoms to cyber criminals instead of reporting it out and working uh, with the government does not necessarily guarantee that that data will be decrypted or that their systems will be secured, correct? That's correct. Uh, there are no guarantees that if uh, any corporation, organization, or entity pays ransom that it will necessarily be decrypted. We have use cases between us and CISA where the decryption keys provided by the actors have not worked. Mm -hmm. And Director Easterly, uh, currently the House is, is seeking to pass the Build Back Better Act. And now, among other things, this bill includes more than $400 million for your agency, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure, uh, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. Now, in concrete terms, can you help communicate to us and to the public uh, what that $400 million would allow your agency to do and what kind of capacity and what sort of uh, implementation does that buy, per se? Sure. So, um, Congresswoman, there's a number of provisions in there that deal with cybersecurity beyond CISA, um, in, but I'll focus on the, the provisions that deal with, uh, with our agency and the additional funding that it would potentially provide. Um, and I think there's a number of initiatives there that go to a, go to a series of, of the concerns that have been raised by members during the course of this hearing, particularly related to uh, the security of our critical infrastructure and the industrial control systems that enable our infrastructure to operate. Um, uh, there's money in there that help, will help us expand our ability to monitor and detect activities that are actually happening on critical infrastructure networks and take quicker action in response. Uh, there's money in there for research and development uh, focused on the critical infrastructure domain and the industrial control systems uh, to identify new and emerging ways in which we can uh, detect and protect uh, those, those critical assets. There is funding in there for uh, expanded training and education that go to a number of the topics related to workforce that we've hit on. Um, so it is, I think that there is um, a series of provisions that will certainly help bolster uh, our ability uh, to provide support to the cybersecurity of this country. Thank you very much. Now you